This is Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Welcome to Bryant-Denny Stadium, home of the Crimson Tide. This place is charged up and ready for a big game today. Both teams have circled this game on their schedule. Two of college football's elite colliding here in a matchup of top five teams early in the season. As we'll see a team that made use of a bye week, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the winners of three straight, the Alabama Crimson Tide. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Pressure is coming, bringing pressure. Stepping to his right now to avoid the pressure. Looks like he's gonna run it. Breaks loose at the 40. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. And this quarterback can play the game. He can throw, and as we see here, he can run the football. The defense does everything that they need to with the pressure. They look like they're in good position to be able to come up with a nice play on him, but instead, he shows how he can slip out of the back door of this defense and pick up a nice game. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Here's the second down play. Direct snap to the back. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Chris, I don't know, there's just something about that Bama uniform. When they run the football, it just feels right. It's a combination of having those big offensive linemen, a really physical approach at the line of scrimmage, and backs that are able to pick up first downs like that right there. Beautiful. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. Tailback with another carry. And that's a solid game before the defense able to bring him down. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Quarterback in the shotgun here on third down. It's an out out, the catch made. The defense stops him just short of the marker. That'll bring up. They'll run it out of the shotgun. That one takes it across the 30-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Fires it to the wideout. Grab down the middle. It's Bell. Tackle is finally made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 48-yard line. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw, and that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships. And what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. They stop him, but it's a first down. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Let's it go quickly. Grab down the middle. It's Bell. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. 
And the crowd coming to life here, trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Well, that's just textbook right there. Great timing and recognition. snap motion from the offense a pop pass on the jet sweep brought down for a loss after the completion not what they were looking for offense getting set up here's second down looking to pass it's Milro. snags a quick throw and he's brought down but they went backwards after the completion good work by the defense offense facing a third and long from the 28 Got to have your pass protection in order in this play. Eludes the rush. Breaks loose at the 40. And the junior quarterback shows his toughness. Keeps this drive moving. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 coming up. Boy, this guy can do it all. We know what he can do with his arm. But when things aren't there, does a good job of pulling it down, knowing where the first down marker is, picking up the first down. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Second down after that previous play. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. They'll look to throw it here on second down. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. He stopped, but he gets a first down. This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. You know, plays like this are what Alabama offense is all about. They run the football, and then they're efficient within their passing game. Think about it. They won a couple national championships with Greg McElroy and A.J. McCarron by just being efficient and playing smart at the position and being a great complement to that running game in the defense. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Ball handed off. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, I don't think the offensive line gave the back much of a chance at all. Now, give credit to the defense. It was almost like they were anticipating a run and got up close to the line of scrimmage in a hurry. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Chris, that's on the offense. here on first down looking for the wide out he pulls it in for a big game brought down at the 33 that's good enough to move the sticks you know this is what makes this receiver so dangerous if you play him in man he can run by you for a big play you decide to sit back in zone and he's got the savvy and instincts to be able to find that soft spot in the zone make a catch and be dangerous after the catch as well Oh, and he can't bring it in. A chance for a takeaway. And one of the star players on this defense couldn't make it. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute point. Off the play fake. Looking to throw the football. Caught over the middle. It's foul. Rips off a big game. Finally tackled at the 46. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. No stopping him, takes it all the way. Touchdown. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. They crank up the tempo here for this important third down play. Drops back from the shotgun. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. 
Well, I love this defense and how they're playing some man coverage. And let's face it, when you do that, it's a bit risky. You can leave. First and ten here, looking to throw the ball. He'll take a deep shot here. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. An explosive play, big game, spotted down near the 37. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. Quick throw to the left side. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Georgia. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this... It's set now to try the PAT. is good. They're pulling ahead now. 21-7. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. He'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Nice play to start the drive. They're near midfield here for first and ten. Looking to pass. It's Milrow. Gets made on the out route. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Pass complete. It's second down now. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Caught near the sticks. It's Young. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. And looking to throw now on first down. Looking to scramble. He's going to take off here. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but, man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Short pass finds the tight end. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And they'll set up for the PAT. The extra point is good. We're down by a touchdown, 21-14. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And the return man brought down. That's DC yardage on that return. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of the half. Chance for just a couple more plays. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. And they'll move the six on that one. It's a first down to the 42. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. First and ten now for the offense. Handoff here from the shotgun. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. So a timeout is called. Just a few seconds left here in the first half. Looks like the final play of the half coming up. Looking downfield, it's back. Just gets it away, taking a shot. Pass caught down at the 20. They finally make the stop after a big game, but that'll wrap up the first half of play.
And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Tuscaloosa. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. Alabama will kick it off to start the second half. Turner choosing to field this one. Gets it to the 25-yard line. That's where they'll start the drive. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And the junior gets home, making a sack there. Well, I'll say this, this defense went in at halftime, made some adjustments, and they look like a different group here in these first few plays. Short loss in the play sets up second and long from the 18. Takes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Defense is coming after him. Pressure comes, and once again, no escape. Chris, that's another sack for this guy. That's back-to-back -back plays. This guy's been able to get to this quarterback. Man, he is in a zone and feeling good right now. If I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm either rolling away from that guy, or you got to think about double-teaming him just to keep him out of the backfield. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. And they've got him again. That ferocious pass rush back to back sacks. Exactly what the coach, I'm sure, talked about. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And they'll stop him after a short game. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. Ball is free in the backfield. Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. They had to put the ball last time. Now they're looking to add points, build on this lead. It's incomplete. They waited all game for a chance to intercept one. Instead, it's second down. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Back to throw. It's spec. Close to the tight end. He makes the grab. Touchdown, Bulldogs. No chance to catch him. And here's the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. That's a solid game. Moves the ball to the 29. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This back's vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. He's escaping the pocket now. 
using his legs here. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short. is handed off out of the shotgun. Hey, it's a great job of this defense containing the running game. But if I'm calling the plays, I'm not abandoning the running game just yet. I think it's important to have some sense of balance. So throwing and running is essential. Stick with it. There's a wide open receiver complete. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Well, you could tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. And now the handoff. Throws a stiff arm. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave him a chance in a really nice game. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Looking for his big tight end. Touchdown, dogs! This offense cannot be stopped. That's another strike from this quarterback, Kirk. He is having himself a day. This guy's just having one of those days. Team out for the PAT try. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. And here's the return from inside the five. Not much on the return. They'll stop him at the 24. Good coverage. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Defense does a really nice job here being able to contain that run game, held just for two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Crucial third down play coming up. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. And they got to be feeling pretty good about things as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's review how we got here. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. He's going for a big play downfield. Oh, and he can't quite hold on. A great chance for their first interception here today. But it's going to bring up fourth down. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back. And he's brought down a sack for the defense coming up big on this fourth down play. Chris, I totally understand why they would go for this here at this point in the game. You're down by three scores. We're in the second half. They felt the pressure with the possession that they had, the field position that they had. They needed to make something happen. Unfortunately, not able to come through. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. To the air. It's back. And he finds his tight end for the catch. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Important second down play coming up. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Got to pick up the third and short through the air. Grab down the middle. It's love it. The tackle is made, but the game sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. The Bulldogs come to the line with first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Second and goal for the offense. We'll give it to the running back. Touchdown, Georgia. To stretch the lead, the route is on. 
Well, they began with great field position, and that didn't take long at all, Kurt. Well, that's how you take advantage of an opportunity. Your defense sets you up in great field position. You're not looking for a field goal. You're looking for a touchdown. Give the credit to this offense for being aggressive and punching it in. And now the try here for the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Now they get set to kick it away. Return starts from inside the five. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. Turns on the speed. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Bama. He will score. Special teams making a monster play. The returner gets the touchdown, but a bunch of guys contributed that time, Kurt. Yeah, exactly right. The blocks up front really set the tone to be able to give him his chance. You don't see this happen very often in this game where a guy gets a chance to have a kickoff return for a touchdown. Everything has to be just perfect, and of course, he had the speed to be able to get it all the way to the end zone. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And there's the point after. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And the receiving team has recovered. Looks like the hands team did its job. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They really had the defense off balance in the last possession, mixing the run and pass extremely well. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Offense getting set, second down play here. Well, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. First down and 10. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. Looking to throw it on first down. Caught over the middle. It's ETN. And the defense swarms. Not much of a gain on that completion. Short completion there. Second down coming up. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Looking for a receiver. Running out of time in the pocket. But he scrambled and scrambled. Doesn't get the ball away. And he's finally dropped for a sack. Well, the defense would not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. Quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. That sack sets up a third down play. the play fake he'll look to throw it the pocket breaking down and the protection breaks down yet again another sack and I'm shocked this guy is trying to get outside and make a play Chris you know what he's all about sit in the pocket make a read get the ball out of his hands here he's desperate trying to make a play on the outside really not in his arsenal as you see and it backfires for a big loss Dogs will bring their punt team onto the field. They're going to kick it away for the second time. And he boots it out of bounds. Not very long. We've reached the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. The pass rush closing in. Cannot escape, and down he goes. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Dropping back, it's Milrow. He's running out of nowhere to go here, and the ball is knocked loose. Defense recovers the fumble. Big takeaway. Oh, just a costly turnover here for this offense. Last thing they wanted to see is put this ball on the ground and really, any chance of getting back into this game is lost. 
And off the fumble recovery, can the offense punch it in? It's first and goal. And, of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And the beatdown continues. I think we're starting to kind of see a theme here, Chris, today. That's his second touchdown. The offensive line doing their job, and he's doing an outstanding job of just reading the defense, finding the hole, and being able to pick up big yards and touchdowns. See if they can convert the point after. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. And Turner brought down. Sets up the next drive. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. Well, this has been a disappointment. They've had their doors blown off here, just playing for pride at this point. Final minutes here. They'll throw it deep downfield. That deep shot is caught for a big game. Tackled all the way down to the 25-yard line. Suddenly, they're in great position to get points. Hey, this offense isn't giving up. Yeah, we're in the fourth quarter. You're down big. But who knows? Make a big play. Try to get in the end zone. Maybe get an onside kick. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Back to pass. It's Milrow. Pass is caught. Ball carrier running through tackles. And he's run out after a big game. The offense will be set up with a first down and goal. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, tied. Love this never say die attitude from this quarterback. He's still slinging it out there. This game's out of reach, but this guy's still putting the ball in the air, and this one's a touchdown. Now, the all important extra point. And it's good. Kickoff team now set to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They've got a big cushion here in the latter stages. Great feeling to be up big on the road. Game moves the ball out past the 25-yard line. Offense getting set. It's second down. The shotgun running play call. And they wrap him up and bring him down to what is the final play of the game. Well, really entertaining one. It was fun one to call. They get the W, Kirk, in a shootout. Not much to criticize for either of these teams on the offensive side, but where they put on a great show. But for the two defenses, especially the losing squad, you can't imagine their coach is too happy with their performance. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.